Ow. All right. Um, good news is I can 100% howl here. And go for my rock sled. <laughs> they weren't having it. They were like, what do you mean it lived? So uh, what I'm going to do is I want to have a greater incentive for people to subscribe to the Patreon or be a Twitch subscriber. So what I'm going to be doing is the rental codes free. If you want to dissect the team on your own time, do it. The uh, written breakdowns of each Pokemon and like the EV spreads and stuff. For teams that aren't like showed on live teams where you can just take that yourself, uh, they're going to become Patreon exclusives, just like the, the written breakdown if you want like more info. I just want to let you guys know that's that's what I'm going to do uh, because YouTube is a is a is a rough place. It's a rough place. Ooh. Ooh, is that is that Mr. Don Dozo? Is that are they bringing Don Dozo against me? No, they can't bring Don Dozo against me. That wouldn't make sense. No one should ever do that. That's such a bad idea. All right, uh, let's do this. Old reliable comp. One day when I can afford the sub, someone can also just gift you a sub. Like, that's also a thing that can happen. YouTube's a wonderful place. Or not YouTube, but Twitch, I think. Uh, let's go T-Tar, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and Howl. Moxie in chat, quick question. How do I get into competitive Pokemon? Uh, unfortunately, step one is probably make a Twitter account. That's like, unfortunately, unironically, step one. Somehow. Because <laughs> there's playing competitive Pokemon and there's like getting into competitive Pokemon. There's the leech seed on the boy. All right. So, I'm fairly certain that they're not going to be able to call out this play. How how heavy is Wo Chen? How heavy? I don't know how strong my... Hold on. Wo Chen, wait. 163 pounds. Let me check something. Um, Ting, Lu, wait. One th yeah, this low kick's not doing that much. Alright, um... I'm going to go for a Rock Slide this turn and another Howl, assuming that here they probably just want to protect. Alright, cool. They Terror the Glamora. And next turn I'll be able to probably Terra Blast to KO the Wochen. Cool, I called the Protect, right? I really want to get rid of that more than anything else, to be honest. However, if they end up energy balling me, I'm, I'm probably just going to drop this turn, which sucks. Alright, maybe I can live. Okay, alright, alright, alright. We're good, we're good, we're good. Rock Slide's going to do a decent amount to this Glamora. We saw that it was faster than me. I don't know if I want to burn a Terra just yet. Is it worth it? It might be worth it. I do have a Palafin in the back. I think it's worth it. I should also send everything in range of, um, of my, uh, what's it called? Stinky Fluttermane. Alright, live. Yeah, I'm gonna burn my Terra here. This is gonna be a little controversial. I'm gonna burn my Terra. I'm at plus two, right? Yeah, I'm at plus two. This guy is not leech seated yet. Alright, this is gonna be a pretty controversial Terra Blast. Scary face to make sure it goes off.
And then I can get in my flutter. Alright, I'm thinking this isn't going to KO, but it'll come pretty close. What kind of Wo Chen is this? I think it drops to Sand. I think Sand goes first, right? Did they just Energy Ball my Houndstone? That's kind of crazy. Um, I die. No, no, I forgot I had my, my silly goofy berry. Um, can Sand go first? Come on. Sand, KO this Wo Chen. KO this Wo Chen. Incredible. We're so good at this game. We're so good at this game. All right. Um, Tyranitar, you can drop now because this Last Respects is about to go off. This Last Respects is about to go off. This is a plus two base 100 Last Respects. Depending on what they have in the back, obviously. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into my Flutterman though. If it ends up being Don Dozo, I'm actually gonna burn the Dozo and go hard into Palafin. Alright, it's their Flutter. Last Respects should just KO it. Last Respects definitely just KOs it. Let's just do it. Specs D Gleam. Last Respects. They're probably choice specs too. Focus Sash is pretty rare on Flutter nowadays. They're going to withdraw. What are they going into? An Intimidate Bond? Arcanine? Eh, I guess that makes sense. This is still going to do a lot though, and I still have my, um, my Palafin in the back. How much is this doing? You're gone. Goodbye. No respect. No respect for you. D Gleam will do a ton. Um, it's just a matter of getting rid of the uh, the Glamora and then we win. Houndstone should also survive another turn because it doesn't have like Leech Seed applied to it anymore. Or at least there's nothing to take health from it. I'm also pretty certain it's like AV Glamora. But I want to see how much this Last Respects is going to do. I'm not Don Ducting, I'm actually counter Don Ducting. It's, it's a pretty uh, rare and effective technique that I have to employ sometimes. Let's go for the D Gleam. Um, and I'll last respects you. In case they want to protect here. Because Arcanine's more likely to not have protect, I think. Because a lot of Glamour do want to run Spiky Shield. However, Energy Ball is kind of a dead giveaway. It's probably AV. Still, I want to see how much this does. It does so much. Cool. Uh, Glamour, I think, drops to this. And if it doesn't, it's like, fine, Palafin, just solos. Yeah, it's fine. Palafin just comes in. I always target down Glamora and I win. And it, that's definitely AV. Fluttermane should survive one more turn. In comes Palafin. Pokey Men's Health. That's such a good username. All right. Oh, wait. I just locked Dazzling Gleam. Um, actually, there's no reason not to just Jet Punch you because they can't actually attack my... They can't hit my Flutterman. Yeah, they just lose. Cool. Nice. Good game. I'm really glad the title's holding up. The title of this live stream is Going Stupid with Houndstone. We've been going stupid with Houndstone. Alright, I think one more and we'll just be a Master Ball tier and then we can say, I reached Master Ball tier in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked Season 4, I think. Is it Season 4? I don't know. 
He's got that dog in him. Getting hound stoned after work. 100%. Um, yeah, this lead goes, goes crazy. This combo should be fine. It's actually pretty rare I bring the Amoongus. I actually don't remember when I bring the Amoongus. Season 5, yeah. It's one more than there are regulations, I'm pretty sure. Thanks for the sub, the night guy, or that night guy. Jarjanical, Gyron Jans, Jalimstone, Jalifin. All right, well, I mean, I can just Willow Wispy right now. Um, I'm gonna Willow Wisp and protect. Hoggers. Cool, connect it. Salt cure. Don't really mind that too much. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go into Iron Hands and Howl. Or not Iron Hands, Tyranitar. I tried Encore in the Dolphin and I loved it. That's actually really funny. If you run like a max speed Palafin, you force so many Protects that like Encoring them into Protect is totally po Like that's, that's totally possible, dude. Alright, as long as I don't like close combat me, I'm good. What if they close combat at me? What if I like lose? Or I guess Drain Punch is what they would click. Thunder Punch, that's going to bounce off of me. Don't paralyze me, I'll cry. Alright. How much do you guys think plus two, uh, plus two low kick does? How much do you think plus two low kick is going to do to this thing? I'm going to say it does too much. They're more special defensive nowadays, so if they don't protect, I think they just drop. Alright, they protected. That's fine. Uh, next turn, I'm not going to low kick. I'm just going to go ahead and like Terra Blast. And I'm going to Howl a third time. I'm going to Howl a third time in Terra Blast. Nene? I'm going to hit the Nene for you. There you go. <laughs> Drain Punch. Well, they get like nothing out of that. Dude, I'm going to I'm gonna hit a third Howl. And that, yeah, I thought that did too much. I'm going to hit a third Howl in Terra Blast. This is the play. I could also just go for plus two Assurance. Actually, that might be better. Wait, that might be better. Hold on. Assurance is stronger regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, last year specs, even though this is like resisted, Assurance ends up being stronger than Terra Blast would. Because Terra Blast is base 80. Assurance ends up being 120. That's my play. Check it out. Nothing switches in on this either. They just lose a Mon. They switch. They're losing a Mon. They're losing a Mon. They lost the Flutter main. They have chosen. Actually, wait. No, they're gonna they're gonna lose like a lot of attack here. Yeah. Oh, it lived. Is it Sash? The rare Sash Flutter main. No low kick at plus two. No, they were totally gonna switch there. They, you never stay in on that.
I didn't low kick because I knew they would switch. That was that was why I did that. All right, cool. I'm gonna lose my T tar, but now my last respects is gonna go off. Have I eaten my citrus yet? I'm not paying attention to my HP stat. Jarjanical? Alright, my Houndstone's still salt cured, but he's still very scary. <laughs> Yeah, and now I eat my citrus berry. So we get a, a new lease on life here. And I'm going to go into Fluttermane because I'm assuming that here they're going to want to go into Iron Hands. Iron Bungle? Hmm. Could be bad. Let's get their booster. Yep. Um, I'm at plus three, or am I at plus two? I'm at plus two. I'm at base 100. I'm going to say here, I'm good to double attack this Jarjanical. Nah, I should get rid of Iron Bundle. Let's Howl again. And go for this uh moonblast. Do you have a cloak on this team? I do, it's on a Moongus. Ooh, they want to get rid of this thing bad. Luckily, that's not like a really good terror for them to burn. In my opinion. All right, they crit my Houndstone, that's fine. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. And while I am taking Salt Cure damage, while I am taking Salt Cure damage, my end game is pretty clear. They're probably AV on their Iron Hands, so I just always protect my um, Palafin this next turn and go for a Moonblast into their, um, into, their, uh, into their Iron Hands. Also, Hippo of, wait, hold on. Hippo? Tip O F B. Thank you for the 11 months. Uh, T Bone, finally get to watch you live. Thank you for having me get into VGC. Love your Quaqua Ball team. Been using it with an Orth Orthworm lately. Hey, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're having fun with it. Yeah, I, if if it's like AV Iron Hands, it's probably in range. I just always attack Iron Hands here, and then in like the 2v1, I win because Wave Crash plus Moonblast KOs like everything. They also can't Drain Punch anything here. So I think after Sand and Burn... If Sand's still up, I don't think Sand's going to be up. Um, I should KO. Are you going to Portland Regionals? Yes, I am. They should just fake out Salt Cure, I think. They didn't fake out. Uh, I do... I am going to KO at the end of this turn. I think I'm good. I just double attack now. They should, like, salt cure my Palafin every time, I think. Or maybe Fissure. Cool. Burn will KO them. Wave Crash plus Moonblast always does it. That's game. They can protect here. It doesn't really help. I'd imagine they just forfeit. Nope, they're gonna go for it. You're not taking this. Nice. Sweet. Also, we're really close to a hype train.
Tio battling. That's probably Master Ball tier now. Oh, not quite. Why did we get like no points from that one? That was weird. <laughs> Absolute domination with the dog. That'd be a good name for it. Ooh, Sun. I know what I do here. Um, it is Sun. Blue Robin, thanks for the raid. Actually, I don't lead off of that. Why am I leading off of that? Silly goose behavior. That's what that was. All right. Go, go, gadget, safety goggles, palafin. Thanks for the follows, everyone. Jump Love Torkoal. Uh, I think here I'm just going to go ahead and go for a... I want to switch, but it's like not worth it. Actually, it, it is, but it's like not great. Let's just scary face and go right into Tyranitar. And if they want to sleep powder, they have to actually land it. And then I can just go for a second scary face and KO with Rock Slide. This also basically guarantees I don't lose my Houndstone this turn to like an eruption or something. All right, if they miss this uh, Sleep Powder, they just lose. They Leaf Stormed. I think I'm good. I'm going to say we're good. Overheat? He's gone. He has overheated. All right. So, um, yeah, that's a minus two speed Jump Bluff. Is that a Jacked Pack? Oh, wait, that's really bad, actually. Wait, that's really bad. Um, I go right back into my Palafin. Why is it eject pack? Dang it. Do I go right back into Palafin? They can't stay in with Fluttermane. I think they have to switch the Flutter here to be in a good spot. I'm going to Scary Face. Assuming they want to sleep this Tyranitar. And go Palafin. Or is that my play? Maybe I just Terra. Let's try this. This is going to be kind of an awkward play. But if it works, it works. Okay, cool. That worked. That worked. Especially if they targeted down my T-Tar with like Moonblast, I should live this now. Since I'm no longer weak. Special attack boost probably. Speed. Okay, that's even better. Like, yeah, they could get rid of my Houndstone, but I'm still going to get, like, this Rock Slide damage off, which is really big. Shadow Ball. Okay, they're going for this. That's fine. Go, go, Gadget, Palafin just, like, solos the rest of the team. Especially if I just get this in range. Come on, don't miss. What did I miss? Torkoal. That's like the one thing I didn't want to miss. If we're being honest here. Being a hundred with you, with you, buddy. I didn't want to miss that one. Uh, let's go. Go, go, Gadget Palafin. I'm going to protect. Go for a rock sled. They don't have any safe rock slide switches. I'm Assault Vest. They're not special attack boosting. Could be specs. If they're specs, that's even better for us, to be honest. I 
They withdraw the Flutter Mane. Okay, please go into your Jump Pluff so it can just be in range of like a, of, of a Jet Punch. Cool. Don't protect your Torkoal. That'd also be pretty poggers. Nice. Okay, that's within Jet Punch range. Torkoal gets flinched. Skill issue. Skill issue. Jet Punch you. I'm pretty sure that'll KO. It's going to be really close, but I still go for the Rock Slide. Because it's resisted, and Jump Pluff's like frail, but it's not like that frail. To be fair, I missed a Rock Slide earlier. I, I, I earned a flinch. I earned a flinch. Please KO. Thank you. All right. This is single target. It should KO now as long as I don't miss another. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tyranitar. What are you going to go for? Overheat? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Cool. Um, I'm actually not that scared the more I think about it. Actually, that's... Probably pretty good for me. Yeah, I mean, like, that's, that's like, fine. Um, what do they have in the back again? They have a possible Chen Pao and a Great Tusk. I need to keep this thing at, like, full health. I need to keep, like, my, um... I need to keep my Palafin as healthy as possible, so if I get this call right, I'm good. Torkoal could swap here, but it's like, whatever. Get a nice little special attack boost here. And I'm gonna say there's specs. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on, on, on a limb and say that there's specs on that um, Flutter. Yeah, they are specs. You do not run that if you are not specs. That is like the rule. Yawn? That's fine. I was switching anyway, so we're good. Go ahead and just go for the jet punch. Nothing switches in on that. On their side of the field, basically everything's weak to it. Uh, getting the T tar. Unity GGs. Yo, I'm pretty new to competitive Pokemon. I was wondering what Pokemon from previous gens will eventually be in SV. Is it just every game on the Switch or it's been data mined? I don't know the list, but there's it's a good amount. I'm not sure, like, what Pokemon are on that list right now. I've seen the list. I just don't know what, what's on it. Off memory, at least. All right, cool. Uh, they're going to sack their Fluttermane because they're speed boosting. I know that they're faster than me, which means that um, I KO this thing, and Sand's going to be it forever unless they switched out their Torkoal here. Helping hand? Oh, they were committed. They were committed. I'm sorry. Sorry. Goodbye. Any non-meta Pokemon you think are underrated in the current format? Wo Chien, um, Quaquaval, and honestly, Houndstone's like fine. I've been like you've seen like tonight we've been using Houndstone pretty well. All right, cool. Um, it's safe just to jet punch low kick. That covers like covers most options. I'm not rock sliding here because I already missed two rock slides, and while probability says I most likely won't miss another, I'm not gonna risk it. Any thoughts on a core with Chen Pao and Scizor? You're kind of weak to, like, fire on that core, but it's definitely fine. <laughs> it's definitely fine. Like, as long as you have a good defensive Terra on your Scizor, probably fire, in fact, uh, you'll be set. Terra flying? Okay. Well, that means that, like, my last play, like, doesn't matter. Low Kick's gonna do, like, six. But if they ended up targeting my, um, my Tyranitar anyways, which I think they probably did, it's like, whatever. Ice Spinner? Yeah, we're good. Uh, I definitely just win here.
Go Specs Flutter. I lock Thunderbolt and Wave Crash, and that's game. Do you think this team also works in open team sheet? 100%. I tested it in open team sheet. Nice. The team doesn't have very many surprises on it, to be honest. The only thing on this team that your opponent would, like, not be 100% prepared for in, like, close team sheet would be the speed control option on the Houndstone. But even in, like, close team sheet, Thunder Wave, Scary Face, all that gets used. It's, it's not, like, it doesn't matter that it's, like, a surprise factor. Obviously, it's better in close team sheet. But uh, in open team sheet, it's still perfectly fine. How's your day going? Well, I finally decided to get on the ladder and play some games. Uh, what time is it? 6.47? Okay. I'm going to stream for 13 more minutes, so that means one more game. We already hit Master Ball tier. That's fine. One more game. So, so far tonight's record, we started off 1-2 when I logged on. So that means we have six wins, one loss. So we're doing pretty good tonight. Okay. Ooh, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. I think this is... Is this is this Jody's team? Is this the uh, Choice Band Corviknight? Let me check something. Let me check something real quick. Here's how I can tell. I know that Aaron showed it. I know that Aaron showed it. Let me see if this is the hey Choice guys. Band Corviknight. Hi, Aaron. Uh, yeah, this is Choice Man Coronet. Okay, with that in mind, with that in mind, burning this thing is our number one priority. Let's go ahead and lead off with the boys. All right. I was going to say, this looks like Jody's team. Where do I find a rental code for this team? The team on my right or the team that I'm using? Because the rental code for this one, I'm going to release... I don't, I don't know when. <laughs> probably, probably tomorrow. And I'll make it public at the end of this video. Or at the end of the stream. Incredible. All right. Um, should be able to burn, and they're probably not too keen on. They're probably not too keen on Terra Fire here because there's a Palafin on my side of the field that they have to deal with first. Nice. Cool. Augers. Alright, foul play. Great bird foul play. Not gonna do much. I did too much. Ow. Alright, um, good news is I can 100% howl here. And go for my rock slide. <laughs> they weren't having it. They were like, what do you mean it lived? They are like, what do you mean it lived? Awesome. Cool, we made someone rage quit, like, literally for the last game of the night. Augers. Alright, well, I guess we can make this team public now. <laughs> that one doesn't count, do one more? What do you mean, do one more? I don't want to do one more. I'm tired. It's 6.51. The stream would have ended in nine minutes. Let me let me make the team public. Let me make the team public, okay? 